for the beginning mandolin students, the first two or three chords would be, the first chord would be a G chord for beginning mandolin because it uses only two fingers that are almost side by side. Your second finger is on the E string, third fret. Your index finger is on the A string, second fret. And then your other two strings are open. You think of these eight strings as only being four because they're two real close together. So that would be the G chord first. And then to create a C chord, you just move those two fingers up a set of strings to where this finger's on the A string and this one's on the D string. That's the easiest movement. The other chord would be a D chord and it uses only two fingers also. You put this, your second finger on the E string at the second fret and your index finger on the G string second fret. So you have to kind of turn your hand. It can't be the same as a G and a C because your hand faces towards you, but to do the D you have to kind of turn your hand to look like this. And then the A chord that I teach is down here. So it's the same form as a G chord, G and C. You're putting two fingers almost side by side but I'm doing it on these two strings here. Way down here at the, at the one, two, three, four, five, six, your index is on the sixth fret, and then your second finger is on the seventh fret of the string right beside it. So you're only working with the two top strings, and then I strum them all. That's the easiest way to do an A chord. So our first song, My Homes Across the Blue Ridge Mountains, is D. My home's across the Blue Ridge Mountains. Go to A. My home's across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home's across the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I never to see you anymore. And that's what we're going to try to accomplish.